Ben Johnson with English Twist I Take Assist. Thanks for joining me today and for showing me your support. Today I've got another sweet little customization video for, to bring to you. In the past I've had my customization videos up for the iOS and they've been really quite successful. So I thought, hey, what's better than just bringing out a new and refreshed, uh, up-to-date, whip lip, slickety slip, and uh, keep you all in with the what's hip you know what I'm saying no I'm not a rapper but hey if you want to contract me go for it shoot me uh, a request in the message bar or something <laughs> no I'm just kidding but as I was saying uh, up to date being more refreshed with what's on the market right now we've all been there and customized our phones with the springboard the summer board the more modern winter board and now we've got a new well actually you know what before the the Winterboard came around. We even had something called Pogo Plank for some of you veterans out there. Uh, but then we went to Winterboard, and now we're onto something brand new called Dreamboard. And this Dreamboard really is just that. It's it's tagged as a dream because it really brought a new, refreshing UI sort of interface for our iOS devices. Okay, we're talking non-linear standard themes now you know we've got some really quite interesting approaches desktop looking themes and quite fancy widgets you know to really compete and bring out that Apple um, productivity and quality you know that the Apple enjoys to keep under their red tape you know it's like I describe Apple you've got Apple as uh, Apple and Android uh, you've got a diamond and the Apple product is that finely polished chiseled diamond, the brilliant cut diamond, and then you have Android, which is a diamond stone, but it's just not finely polished. It's there ready for you to sculpt into whatever you want. But it's with videos such as this, like I'm going to bring to you today, and I'm going to show you how to make your Apple device surpass all that red tape and really bring it out into all its glory. So I can already tell that you're all shouting and hollering at me to just get on with the bloody video. So let's just do that. And as you can see, I'm going to show you today how to make your phone look as sweet as mine. And I absolutely love this theme. If any of you ask any of my friends, you know, do I customize my phone? The first thing they'll say is, heck yeah, his phone always looks different, but it it never stays the same for very long and I can put hand on heart with this theme I absolutely love it it is the OS 7 theme and it utilizes Dreamboard. now you do need to have a jailbroken phone for this so if you are wondering how I got this it isn't a normal standard app store purchase <laughs> it is something that you'll have to do utilizing Cydia through a jailbroken process um, but a quick synopsis of how this theme works it is a tablet approach, it's a non um, screen after screen of square icons, the scrolling, very bland, very boring. This theme is made up of what windows, so sort of like a, a slate approach that are fully customizable. You can move them up and down. You can't drag them and move them to different locations like you can on the official Windows device, but I tell you, there is no limit to what this product can do. You can pin and unpin items. See, I've unpinned it, and they come over to this far right screen where all your apps are alphabetically categorized. You can't move them around on this screen, but you know they're they're alphabetized, so they're very easy to find. And <clears throat> like I said, this is all done through the means of Dreamboard. No longer do we need uh, Winterboard. So let's get into this video. How do I get this? How did I get my iOS, my iOS to look like the Windows device? I mean, it is just sweet. Look at these. Look at these really nicely designed uh, slates. They're not like the other themes that are left open-ended. You know, you get these really comprehensive themes, but there's bits missing, and you don't find that with this. Everything is customized just how you want it, and that's why I love it, and that's why I've kept it. Okay, so let me show you how to get it. With your jailbroken device, you're going to come into Cydia, and you're going to need a theme, okay? Um, I'm going to show you which theme you need first of all. You're going to find it in the description bar. Many of you will know it. It's iHacks Repo. Let me just zoom in real quick. It's right there. See iHacks Repo. Literally HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash iHacksRepo.com. All right, just go ahead, and you're going to punch that in here. You're going to come to Edit, and then Add and then you're going to throw in iHacksRepo.com in there and then add source okay and that's how you'll get this now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to come to the search menu and type in dreamboard 
All right, that's what you need first and foremost. Dream board. For those of you of you that can spell, it looks like that. There we go. Let me just zoom in while I'm doing this installing portion of the video. Okay, you're going to find that that I've already got mine installed. You're going to hit the dream board. You're going to hit for me. See how I've already installed it. So there's modify. I could modify it and then reinstall it. Uh, just to show you that I do have it installed uh, you're just going to install it okay but I'm not going to do that once you've got Dreamboard installed you're going to come down oh, and you, if you search for it via the way that I did that's great then just come back up to the search menu and you're going to type in OS 7 boom there it is alright now there's two that you can see that I have installed and you're going to need both of these alright so first of all you're going to install the let me just double check the description first, and that's exactly what you're going to do. I've come to the OS 7 one first, because this is the one that you're going to need to install first of all. Okay. Let me just see. Experience iOS. Yep, that's it. You're going to need to install this one first of all, the OS 7. Okay. So once again, hit the modify for you. It will be install. Then hit install. I'm not going to reinstall it. Don't need to. Then you're going to come back. La, la, la. and then you're going to install this the OS 7 ultimate okay do the same steps and you can verify my words here because that you come into this OS 7 ultimate and this is the one that you get from the iHacks repo okay you need this for the um for that theme you know you sorry you won't get this without that theme and it says here you know ultimate is a dreamboard theme see this is what it installs it on the dreamboard um mainframe okay so look you need to have the original OS 7 theme to install this theme that I have made alright yada 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 it is awesome you need both of those if you want your stuff to look like mine okay so let's go ahead whoop whoop once you've installed them you come back and then you're gonna come to your you know what let's just do something I'm gonna enter into Dreamboard real quick but I'm just gonna show you sort of in reverse what it looks like you know okay then you're gonna this is what your this is what your boring iOS is going to look like, okay, with this boring page after page after page of really bland square icons, okay. Well, you installed your dream board, and this is what the icon will look like, okay. So go ahead and find that dream board icon, and you'll find that you have this over here on the right. I think you'll, you'll still have this Android one too, so you can try that out and see, but it's not very good. Okay, it looks like the HTC Sense theme, but, you know, like it's open-ended, it's unfinished, it's unpolished unlike this OS 7. Okay, so go ahead and select your OS 7 and boom! There you go, buddy. You have now got OS 7 fully functional on your iOS device. Okay, it's that easy. It's so easy. Fool your friends, impress your friends, and most of all, be satisfied with the, taking the, win, the iOS limits above and beyond. Alright? I'm sorry this video took 8 minutes. I apologize for taking up your time, but you know I just wanted to express my feelings and my opinions and hopefully that's why you're watching my videos now. If you continue to enjoy my videos and you want and you want to continue to get my new content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, perhaps even like this video. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at English Twist. Sorry. Scratch that. I'm at English T Tweets. If you were to do at English Twist, you'd actually find my old page and it will actually root you or point you in the direction of my new YouTube, uh, my new Twitter channel. Okay? So go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Ask me any questions. Post a comment below. You know what? A question for today. Why don't you post a comment about what themes you enjoy? What themes do you like the most? Okay? There's loads out there. I think one of the biggest and most liked themes out there that's pretty well finished for the original iOS was Boof. Remember that? The crazy looking icons, really nice designed icons. Um, but then, you know, who am I? You know, we we had Pogo Plank that looked awesome, looked uh, a bit like the sidekick theme, but uh, that fell on its feet. You know, let's hope that uh, Dreamboard doesn't fall on its feet, uh, or fall on its bum, as we should say. And they continue to produce some really nice themes like this. This is wonderful. I haven't changed this in months, guys. So, hey, you know what? I hope you've liked this video. Brains. You know, this is English Twist. You know what time it is. It's time to rock out. This is English Twist signing out. Take it easy, guys.